Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to answer a couple of questions that you all have had on the new fast fuel filters. With the release of FAST's new Whisper Series pumps, they also released new fuel filters. We've had a lot of calls about these fuel filters. I'm gonna to try to answer a few of those questions today. Now, full transparency. Brad from FAST, Brad Exton, the owner of FAST Fuel Filters, has already done a really, really good, a really good, really good video explaining to you about the workings of the new pump and explaining to you all of the technical specifics of the new filters. Now, what I did is I went into the comments of that video and I pulled a, uh, a, a little snippet out of that. Uh, uh, Fast was answering some questions that you guys have had. It fell right in line with all the questions that we're fielding here at Thoroughbred Diesel. So what I wanted to do is I just printed that out. I put it on some notes, did a little bit of studying about this. We've, uh, we've trained our guys on this. So I want to answer some of those questions today, just in case you missed it. So in case uh, you didn't miss, you did miss it, we're going to link you to that video in this video as well for some more uh, talking from fast directly on these filters. All right, so let's talk about the new filters. One of the first things that I want to talk about is these filters are going to work for the red base uh, fuel pump that had the small filters, what we used to call the old 9595 series. Uh, so the, if you have a red base if you have a red base fast pump from years ago and it's got the smaller size filters which are about this size these filters are going to work for that pump as well if you've got the blue base pump and you have changed the nipple over to the one inch size these filters are going to work on that as well and they're also going to work on the titanium series which is the legacy series or the gunmetal gray base these filters will work for that as well now you guys like me that have got an hd model uh, an HD model pump on your truck, they will not work for those. The, what I used to call the 150, 150s, that's the, the ones that have got the large filters on them that take the uh, FS1000 filter that will not uh, work. These filters will not work with those. So you guys, uh, if fast stops producing their filters, we have plenty of different crossovers. There is a uh, very good spot on FAST's website, which is fastride.com, that has got filter cross-references on it, and they cross over to filter to Baldwin, to Napa. Uh, we are a Cummins dealer, so we carry Fleet Guard. I can get you the Fleet Guard filters on that, no problem as well. So just keep that in mind, you guys that are HD Series 150, 150s, uh, we can totally get you the filters, no problem there. Uh, and also, if you want the old style filters, if you guys have got the legacy style pumps and you still want the water separator uh, with the drain cock on it, we can totally get that for you. Uh, we can get you one of the crossover filters. That's no problem at all. But for the new Whisper Series motor pumps, this is the reason why these filters are out and that is the reason, that is the reason for these. So let's start talking about that. A lot of guys don't like, um, uh, have, or, or have concerns about the fact that the filters do not have the water separator petcock on these filters. So that's what we're going to just dive right into and talk about. But before I can get into that, I've really got to talk to you about the new orientation of these filters on the pumps themselves. So on the Whisper series uh, motors, what they have done is they've actually oriented this differently than what you're traditionally used to on the pumps. And one of the things that FAST did on these filters, they actually put a schematic on there that shows you, or a picture that shows you exactly where the filter itself goes. So this is the PF3001. This is the primary filter. This goes in what we're used to on the older fast pumps, what we're used to being where the water separator went or the first filter from the tank. So this is your primary filter. This primary filter, I want to talk to you about the packaging on this because nobody has addressed this yet. When you receive this filter, you're going to receive the stem O-ring that comes on it, and the stem O-ring is gonna have a piece of wire attached to it. This piece of wire, this doesn't go on the pump. Just take this off and discard it. What this wire is for is in this packaging is to keep this stem O-ring from falling down into the filter, and then you not knowing about it, and then you change the filter out, all this is here is to hold that stem O-ring to keep it from dropping down in there. So just discard this. This is not used for anything. 
totally just a thing to keep the O-ring from falling down in this, uh, this primary filter. As I was saying, the primary filter now, this is a stainless steel wire mesh, and I've got some talking points here on my notes because there's a lot of stuff to talk about here. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I covered everything. This is a stainless steel wire mesh. They call it a serviceable filter if you can get in there to service it. Um, this only serves the purpose of protecting the pump itself from large particles to pass through the pump. So what this is actually doing is it's not serving as a water separator anymore. This is actually just filtering out those large particles, keep from jamming up the jamming up, jamming up the pump gear itself uh, and causing damage to the pump. This is a protection filter. This thing is, is uh, labeled to flow 25 gallon per minute. It is will flow a ton, ton of fuel and get those big chunks out of there. So that's all this is. The primary filter is a uh, new part number is a PF3001. This will work on exactly like I told you, the Whisper series, which is what it's designed for, but it works on your gray, your blue, and your small filter red base. So the PF3001, that's all that this is. Don't forget about the wire and the stem O-ring. Throw the wire away. It's not used for anything. All right, now, this is the big boy, the XWS3002. Again, you've got a schematic on here of what position this filter goes in. This is actually now a filter and a water separator made into one. Again, part number XWS3002. So now you've got your water separation in the position of the filter underneath of the what I'm going to call the air separator. Uh, this is where your water is going to get caught. So let's talk about this filter just a little bit. This filter is 400% more efficient than a cellulose media filter of the same size. Now, this is a micro glass, uh, micro glass uh, material that is inside of this filter. Now, this is where we need to talk about the water. Uh, Fast has actually got a new little design on there for their water separator, uh, a little water droplet giving you the giving you showing you his guns there so this filter this is a 25 gallon per minute flow filter to 400 percent more efficient again it's micro glass um, this is helping to keep uh, this is a high flow very efficient filter uh, one talking point that i didn't talk about with the pf the 3001 with the flows that this filter has this is going to keep the the pump much much more quieter too with the higher flow level this is going to have so back to the xws 3002 your water separation is going to happen in this this is two micron absolute at 25 gallon per minute in fact the number that they that they throw out here 25 micro or two micron absolute 25 gallon per minute that's 1500 gallons per hour is what you're getting on this is what you're getting from this filter now the act of the water separation inside of here let's talk about this with the micro glass what's going to happen is this is the micro glass inside of this filter is going to work like a dam it's going to stop 99.96 percent of the water from passing through this filter at 290 gallons per hour 99.9% per, 99.9% 99.96% of the water, I can't say it. Gonna stop in here, act like a dam. Now, you're gonna be concerned about colder climates. You're gonna be concerned about that freezing inside of this filter. That's where the efficiency of the filter comes in. At 400% more efficient with the flow of this filter, it's not gonna slow you down at all. You're still gonna get good fuel flow. Now. Fast tells you themselves, if this thing fills up completely with water, once all the pores are, 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 are filled with water or they're blocked, that's it, no more fuel flow. So it's gonna shut you down, but that also is protecting your engine. You see with cellulose filters, with a cellulose media filter, once it fills up with water, it's actually gonna start processing the water or start uh, passing the water. So you're gonna get that water passed on to your engine. You're not gonna get that with this flow is going to stop flow is going to stop which is going to be in my opinion the lesser of the two evils i don't want the water in the motor this is going to stop it if the motor stops the motor stops i'll change the filter out no problem this keeps the water from making it in there and destroying your fuel system and giving you a huge huge bill for repair bill for the tow and so on so that's what the xws is two micron 
filtering you're getting everything out before it gets the engine this is a really really good filter fast has done a lot of testing on this thing they've got tons and tons of hours the testing on it is not out just yet they're finishing up a few things i don't know exactly what that is but uh they did note in the comment that they would be passing those testing uh passing those test results along um i think i've gone through everything there and i've talk, talked a ton about this thing these smaller filters are much, much more efficient. I know uh, Fast is saying that they've had a lot of people asking for smaller filters. Uh, they have answered that request with this. These are much, much smaller than what the normal old filters were, but much, much more efficient, 400% more efficient, in fact. So you've got a more efficient filter that's doing the job of the water separation. Um, if you are old school, 10 full hat, you're out. You do, if you just don't want this, if you've got one of the legacy style motors or, or one of the other ones and you still want a filter with a water uh, with a water separator on it for whatever reason, that's fine. We're happy to oblige. We will be able to uh, give you those filters as well. But you really can, should consider this. Uh, watch Brad's video on this. Listen to what I'm saying to you about this. This is this is a is is, is going to be a good thing for the pumps. Um, so. I think I've got all the talking points down there and that's it. If you guys have got any questions about this or any other of our fast products, please give us a call, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.